Dave, have you got any stories about Dave Yindley you'd like to tell? We had been out in Morocco with uh, Carol, and when he came back, he, would, uh, he was suffering from withdrawal symptoms from caving. And he wanted to get in on some exploration, you see, because he loved exploration. So he, he tagged on to this trip of ours down Sleetskill, and uh, we were doing hyperthermia, which is the downstream horrible wet thing running parallel to the main passage. And he got about a third of the way down it, and then he, he, he said to us, he said, I'm feeling a bit strange. I'm going to go out. So he struggled his way back out up this 300 feet of canal, <clears throat> and then got back into the main passage in Sleetskill, which is a joy of caving. Mm. And he couldn't stand up. He couldn't stand up. So he crawled all the way out down the main passage, back up the slope, and when he got to the top of the slope, out in daylight, he, amazingly enough, there was a Land Rover parked in the parking lot, and it was an Upper Warfare Land Rover, these yellow ones that they used to have. But he couldn't speak. And he, so he, he just he waved to them, and they waved back, because <laughs> they, they just thought he was waving being to them. Being friendly. Yes. He just waved to them, yeah. And so he was so desperate, he, he couldn't stand up. And he rolled down the hill towards them. And he rolled most of the way down the hill before they came up to see him. And then they realised that he was in a hell of a state. And they had to sort of resuscitate him. <laughs> Paul, can you tell us about your trip with Pooh and Pipkin? It probably started in the heifer, yes. Because most, most trips started in the heifer. And this was myself and... Well, there were probably other people present who had probably drunk too much to want to go caving. And Pooh and I decided we were going to go caving the next day. We were staying at the Wanderer's Hut and we had no um, no transport. And we decided we were going to go into Pipikin uh, to explore an Avon. So we were in the heifer. It was already probably about 11. Um, and um, all shops were shut, so the only thing we could do was to buy crisps to keep us going. So we bought lots of packets of crisps somehow got back to the Wanderer's Hut and then from Kingsdale we set off in the morning with, uh, to walk across to Pipikin with hangovers thirsty and crisps and we did get to Pipikin went down um, eating our crisps we went along suffering mightily from the amount of beer that we had drunk and we took, I don't think the maypoles were there, I think we took the maypoles in put them up and went up the Avon and we did get in, I think we got into a bit of passage or... Um, okay. When you got up to the bottom of it, you've actually found Golden Wonder Inn. We found the, the Avon, yes, but yes. I think we put the maypoles up it and got up, sort of started going up it or either we just didn't have the strength anymore because Pooh at that time, I hate to say this about such a nice guy, had this ridiculous idea in his head that you must not drink cave water because it was bad for you. At the same time, he had an immense hangover, dehydrated, weakening fast, but not drinking. I was all right, and I can still picture, uh, I must have been thirsty, because I can still picture the water coming over the, um, uh, along the streamway from Golden Wonder Aiden and drinking it, lapping it up. It was superb, but he wouldn't. So then, I mean, caving over, we then had to walk down from East Gill down to the main road, got to the main road and we then were going to hitchhike to Leeds. Within two minutes, a car stopped. It was Dave Cobbley. And he stopped to say hello and to tell us that the springs in his car wouldn't take us in our two rucksacks and drove off again, leaving us. <laughs> <laughs> so after great difficulty, um, suffering, we did, we did manage to hitchhike to Skipton and I think we were even in a, in a lift that was going further than Skipton, but who was so dehydrated we had to get out of the lift and stop at a fish and chip shop so that he could get some coca -Cola, well, not Coca-Cola, but something to drink. And then we had to, having lost our lift to Leeds, we had to then start hitchhiking again to get to Leeds. That is the story of Golden Wonder Avon, which on, was... No, on um, the way out and Pippikin, did he fall off? That climb. He oh, always fell off that climb. Because I watched him <laughs> I mean, halfway time. through the, um, yes. the traverses in the, 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 Yeah, there's a climb. With it's the, about, the, the it's about 
ten feet. Ten feet with a pool yes. at the bottom. Pool. Just couldn't climb it. I once watched him fall off it. At six least, or seven times. <laughs> well, I, I've, got, I've got to admit, he always fell off at least three times on, um, <laughs> off it, and he couldn't do it. But he wouldn't accept help. No, no, no. He was too proud for that. Uh, he, he would, he, he would not. And he was always out there and he would just climb again. And um, uh, yes, always he did it, and he knew he was going to fall off it. So we knew as well. He just, he just couldn't. Um, and he would be talking about it all the way to it, saying, "Look, there's this climb coming, and I'm going to fall off it again." And um, no, no, I just, I just, I just accepted it. Um, in fact, it was a fact of life. Yeah, but I know, no, but I'm uh, deep down, I'm a nasty person. I always went up it first. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have to help he him. Said he, wouldn't, he wouldn't accept him. So you could look down on him. I could look down on him and just tell him. <laughs> I could give him advice as to what to do. Like, I just you know, know, put your knee, <laughs> put your foot above your head. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah it wasn't as bad as that, but you know, <laughs> you know, just put a bit of pressure there, a bit of pressure there, and down he goes again. Sploosh, sploosh. Yes. But you've got to admit, he did in the end always get up. It. He did. Mm. He did. He he did always. Yes. And yet the next time he always forgot the way he got up the previous <laughs> time. And so it was the same time. Yeah. Surprising. Because I'm not sure yeah. if I went, you told the story. Yeah. I did a, a, two or three trips with him, just the two of us. Always the same. It was just. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, Psychologically, mm. it was an impossible climb. But he loved Pippi Cat. Mm. And he got the reward, he's got Pooh's Revenge named after him. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. What a character. 